This poem, View from the Malonglo, February 1962, was written by poet Melinda Smith as part of a creative publishing project in collaboration with artist Karen Florence. In 1962, Canberra was transforming from a town in a paddock to a city with a lake. The lake was in process and was not without its controversies. Designed in 1920 to dam the Malonglo River and form a man-made body of water, there were many modifications made to the plan before construction. Excavation work finally began in 1960, with the energetic support of Prime Minister Robert Menzies. A drought meant that the lake did not fill until 1964. Melinda has captured in this poem the sense of political and geographical stasis experienced by Canberrans, many of whom had been directly affected by the construction, which destroyed houses, sports fields and the racetrack. View of the Malonglo, February 1962. This is progress, ugly and too slow, like life. Picture a little river, banks, well-wooded, hay tall in the paddocks, a little road curving through to dip and cross in a hollow down there, squired by spindly grey sticks of weathered telegraph poles. The river has no future, or rather its future is to be subsumed in the idea of a lake. Call it a dormant idea sleeping these forty years. The embarrassment of Robert Menzies rouses it, unleashes the bulldozers at last. There is felling and gouging, moved earth heaped into putative islands named by committee. A grand bridge rises to skim the treetops, two years ahead of its shore, soaring over nothing much, swirling with the dust of drought. Next month, Menzies will unlock a chain and send a motorcade across. A line of willows clinging to a snake of sand straggles to exit, stage right. Next year, in spring, the valves will close on Scrivener Dam. Still no rain, the lake persisting as an abstraction. There will be billabongs, mosquitoes, acrimony. Months and months of Menzies intoning in his sleep. Trust, my people, trust the waters will come to cover this wilderness we have made. <laughs> <laughs>